My name is B.H. Friedman. I've been a full-time writer since 1963. Bob Friedman was a trustee of the Whitney Museum and a very good friend of ours. And as I remember, he could have introduced us to John. He certainly introduced us to John's paintings, which he and his wife, Abby, owned several of. When I met John Schuler, I met him through his work, which I think is the nicest way to meet an artist. And I went to a stable show uh, that was a very well-known gallery at the time. I saw with my wife a painting called Sun and Fog, and we bought this painting, Sun and Fog. I think it was in the fall of uh, 1955. John, uh, unlike most of the abstract expressionists, and I think he was that, well, the second generation, uh, who admitted uh, first of all, being inspired by landscape, and I think it's important to say that being inspired by landscape and drawing from landscape or painting from landscape are two different things. John, uh, to my knowledge, nev never did any uh, sky paintings or landscapes or sea paintings uh, that uh, were literal, uh, but the inspiration was certainly there. Jack Bauer became the director of the Whitney. His predecessor had been Lloyd Goodrich. Jack was more open to what was going on in the, in the 50s. And Jack did uh, become quite committed to John and did uh, arrange for the acquisitions committee to buy a painting by him. And I, I think until uh, Jack died, he always uh, liked John's work very much and um, uh, wasn't able to do as much about it as he might have. John Schuler has walked a difficult path between opposites. His paintings look abstract, but are not. The character of the Scottish coast speaks through these poetic canvases with remarkable clarity and exactness. They have that kind of largeness, mystery, and power. They strike a more precarious balance between observation and abstract form than do most paintings that try to wed the two. John I. H. Bauer, Director, The Whitney Museum, 1975. The only figurative work I know of by John is some portraits he did. He did portraits of Abby and me at his request. He'd work uh, sometimes from a model. I mean, he did... Um, he did several studies of, of Nelchi. They're not all that literal, um, but they're there. John was unusual. He, he had quite a few uh, talents. He was a, a painter, of course. He also did very good drawings, which are less well known, and then watercolors. In his studio, he very often played jazz and was a very good uh, bassist uh, who played, uh, who studied with Oscar Pettiford. But he also wrote very well in his autobiographical book. I think a couple of his letters are absolutely dazzling. John could have been a character in a Russian novel. He is a Dostoevsky character, as a matter of fact. I never realized that till this minute. Thank you.